Now let's create the Docker files. So we go to the front end and we create this file called Docker file. And we want the first line needs to be what the base Docker image is that we're pulling from. And so we're just using a standard node 10.16 point eight. I'll show in a future video that actually 10.16.0 is what you really should be using here. And so this will cause an error, but we'll leave it for now. So next we need to create a folder called app and a working directory called app. So we're going to define that and we're going to copy in our package.json file and then do an npm install. So now we can go to the back end and we can do a similar thing. As you can see here, I do it correctly. It really should be 10.16.0. And so on our back end, we want to make sure that we install the global Prisma 2 tool first so that we have that available. So then we end up creating this app folder, which we define as our working directory. And we want to copy the package.json in, as well as the Prisma folder. We want to run npm install, and then we're using we're running Prisma 2 generate, which will create the JavaScript files that we need for being able to do things like ins all the CRUD operations that we need. And so then finally, we're going to go to the Prisma directory. do an install of Prisma. We want to be able to create an app directory, define it as a working directory. Copy the Prisma in, and then we're running Uh, Prisma 2 dev. And so th something that I skipped over with the other two Docker files is that this last line is, is the command that it's running during the run step. And so we have all these steps here that are the build part. And so then finally with the command, the idea is that when we actually run the container here, it will, it will run Prisma 2 dev from the command line. And so what we're doing in the other two Docker files for the front end where this command line is starting up the front end server and on the back end, it's starting up the back end server.